And the question now is, what are the other Bicol blade hilt carvings aside from the Kinabayo and the Bicol Tenegre? Jason here for the Hagbayon channel and TMS Talks. Join me for another episode on blade culture, particularly Bicol blade culture. This will be a short chat, so join me until the end. Also check our previous episode on the Bicol Kinabayo, Bicol Tenegre, and other Bicol blade profiles such as the uh, Minasbad, Ginunting, Sinampalok, Baid, etc. Et now going back to the question, what are the other Bicol blade hilt carvings uh, aside from the uh, Kinabayo and uh, Tenegre? Now let's consult or let's check our collection, the Cimarron Armory. First we have the Kinabalang. This is the Kinabalang. This is now quite rare. Okay, the Kinabalang is now rare. But still what? But still a uh, Bicol blade hilt carving. Next is the Inayam or the dog head. Maybe what? Connected with the Sarikaw oral tradition of Mount Asog. And of course, there is the Kinulata, the Kinulata, Rese uh, resembling the butt of a gun, or the Kulata of a rifle. So there, very practical, very common, very cosmopolitan, Kinulata. This is the Kinulata blade hilt carving, another Kinulata, another sample of Kinulata. As attached to a blade, okay. Wooden hilt, Kinulata, PVC, scabbard, what is the blade, needs cleaning, always being used, okay, Kinulata, alright, another what, example of a Kinulata blade hilt carving as, I, as attached to a blade, Kinulata, made of carabao horn, Dinugun type, dinugun type knife. Okay. Next, let's proceed. We have also the pinanaka, pinanaka or the horse hoof, horse hoof hilt. If we have the so-called uh, kinabayo or the horse head, we also have the horse hoof hilt. Now let's look at the sample as attached to a blade. This is a blade with pinanaka, uh, pinanaka hilt, wooden, wooden hilt. Ginunting um, with what? With pinanaka hilt, wooden hilt. Another one, pinanaka wooden hilt with really nice and elaborate carving and with aluminum handguard, wastari profile. Pinanaka, Pinanaka hilt, Bicol blade hilt carving. All right, do we have any more here? This one also, a really nice side carry during hiking. Pinanaka blade carving, Pinanaka blade hilt carving made of carabao horn. Now you can find this in Albay here in Bicol, but also in the Ilocos region, also in the Ilocos region. Next is the Pinonyosan. Pinonyosan. There is a bronze what? Bronze pitting at the punyo side of the hilt or the pommel where the uh, barat is located or the lock or the tongue rivet is located. In Bicol blade parlance we call the tongue as uh, we, the, we call the tongue as uh, arag and uh, the lock we call it the barat so there you have there the punyo or the bronze pitting or casing as attached to a blade do we have samples of it oh this one this one is a blade with a pinonyosan hilt so this is kinulata but with ponyos bronze ponyos Bronze ponyos. This one is uh, like a bronze casing. It covers the ponyo. This is also a ginugun style. What ginugun style? Uh, ginunting, small or mini ginunting. 
Do we have more samples of the Pinunyusan? Let's check. Oh, there is. But it's a very small sample. This is a uh, mini knife, uh, my smallest uh, Bicol blade uh, knife, Bicol blade uh, knife in my collection. The smallest what? The smallest uh, Bicol blade in my collection. Pinunyusan. Carabao Horn Hill. This is only around three, six, seven inches. Seven inches uh, uh, blade with around uh, three, five inches handle with barayong what? With barayong scab uh, barayong scabbard. Uh, Pinunyusan, ladies and gentlemen. Pinunyusan. Very difficult to make because it's really small. Okay, what are the others? What are the others? We also have the tinalisay, the tinalisay. This is the tinalisay. Oh, you can see. Uh, we previously sh uh, showed you a uh, uh, vintage minus bad with tinalisay uh, hilt carving. Tinalisay, really old this one. Relic condition, tinalisay. I like also to call it the alien head because it looks like an alien uh, right here we don't have a sample of the tinalisay unfortunately but it's in my ana it's in my other uh, location uh, I, I have there my minus bad with tinalisay what with tinalisay hill carving it's actually a vintage minus bad I've shown it to you it's a very long minus bad <clears throat> let's proceed uh, we'll be showing some blades with uh, carvings that are not uh, that are not included in our uh, uh, Cimarron Armory uh, Vintage Hill collection. But in, we still have to show them. This one is the Pinili. This one is the Pinili because it looks like the Pili Fruit. Pinili Hill Carving. This is actually a mini minus bad. Mini minus bad. So there. Alright. And of course we don't have this in our... Uh, gallery however we have a blade uh, that represents it uh, this is the pinaniki hilt pinaniki hilt right so related to the perhaps related to the uh hindi Laud epic of the visayas the bat uh bat entity in the epic we still have to um, do research on that however um more on the pinaniki hilt this is also a Pinaniki hill. Pinaniki. Attached to a uh, Wastari. The previous one is actually just a bush knife. A bush knife. Another Pinaniki. Attached to a Ginunting. This is a Pinaniki. There. With Maravical scabbard. You see? Pinaniki. Okay. Another example of a Pinaniki hilt carving, but this time attached to a minus bad, Klewang type minus bad. Klewang type minus bad. <clears throat> so you see, it really depends also upon the vision of the craftsman as to how the hilt carving would look like. Over there um, um, they are mythologized you have to remember they are mythologized and uh, they are spiritualized that's why uh, they may not look like your uh, ordinary member of the animal kingdom so that's how they are they're actually representations of uh, the Bikul psyche the Bikul psyche the Bikul philosophy okay the Bikul uh, ideology based on uh, the surroundings of the of the maker or of the members of the culture base which is be cool just be cool and before we part before we part let's show a, a sample of a bicol tenegra that is quite uh, unique because it is metal it's metal metal tenegra okay this is made of metal with maravical scabbard this is a knife uh, Baid knife 
right? That's more for that's that's all for today. I mean, join me again next time. Uh, be safe and remember, the pen is mightier with a sword.